Hello everybody, I'm Jose Betancourt, and as always, thank you for viewing my videos. So, I have the Panasonic G7, you've seen various videos showcasing this camera. And just to give you a quick update, I absolutely love this camera. It's my first Micro Four Thirds mirrorless camera, and the portability and flexibility of this camera is so impressive. And I'm going to show you two adapters that allow me to use my Nikon lenses and give me some awesome capabilities. So here's one that allows me to use lenses that I have for my Nikon D7100. This particular one is made by KNF Concept. And you're going to want to use this particular adapter because it has the aperture ring and it's all metallic so it's a very strong build and you don't have to worry about the weight of your lenses so here i have a 55 to 200 millimeter lens now this particular lens which i use on my nikon d7100 it has its own stabilization but it's not going to work on the panasonic g7 when you use an adapter like this, now let me remind you, this is about $12 to $13. I'm going to leave the links below. But when you're using these types of adapters, you're not going to get autofocus. So just be aware of that. Now you can buy a more expensive adapter, like a Metabones, where you'll get autofocus capability. So you have to do everything manually. So just be aware of that. So here I'm opening the cover and all you're going to do is match up the two red dots so that you can mount the lens. And there's so much flexibility when you have a very light body like the Panasonic G7 mounted on a light lens. This is a big 55 to 200 millimeter lens, but it's made out of plastic as well. So it's not heavy. The next lens I'm going to show you is a lot heavier. So well, here is the adapter by Photodiox. It's going to allow me to use my Nikkor lens. I have a Nikkor 105mm 2.5 aperture lens. It's a great lens, manual focus only, as I stated. Even when I put it on my Nikon D7100, I can only use it via manual focus. Now you could put aperture priority and that will help a little bit. Now the great thing about using a mirrorless camera is focus peaking. So you can zoom in by double tapping on the screen. And when you get your outline indicating that something is in focus, uh, it helps a lot. Believe me, it helps a lot. If you own a mirrorless camera, you know you have that capability. And this particular Nikkor lens is built like a tank, so it adds weight to the Panasonic G7. So the same applies here. You have a little red dot. You line them up, and you twist, and you have your lens adapter hooked up to an old vintage lens that you could use either for cinematics or taking photos. Really cool, really cheap. And I mean cheap in price. Now, you're not going to get autofocus. I need to remind you about that. And I also need to remind you that you need to go into your menu system. I don't know how it's worded in other Micro Four Thirds mirrorless cameras. But you need to go to shoot without lens. You need to turn that on in order to utilize these uh, particular adapters and the lenses. You're using lenses that are not made for these cameras. So just remember that. Now quickly, the ability to use an adapter so that I can use an old vintage lens like my Nikkor is extremely, extremely awesome. And it allows me to experiment, to just take more pictures. And that's what I love about photography is just the ability to create an image that tells a story. And with the capability of adding more lenses, it just opens many doors. So anyway, I'm Jose Betancourt. As always, 
Thank you for viewing my videos. I'll talk to you soon.